Alrighty guys, what is going on? I'm Tubby Emu. If you guys want the five crazy predictions, the five crazy pay-per-view predictions that I do every month, it's over on my website, it's just wrestling.com. Go over there, feel free to watch it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and go comment over on the website. Alright, Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton, which I hope uh, there's a lot of different options here, whether or not it's the main event. You know, they could go something big with CM Punk possibly in the main event. I doubt it. I think this one will go on last unless Cena, you know, the cash in, they save it for last. If they were doing the cash in, I would be fine with um, Cena going on last. Uh, in, more than this match, if Damien was going to cash in for the sole reason that it helps put Damien over. As far as footage goes, they can show him riding high at the pay-per-view like Randy Orton did after he cashed in. So... I think it would be good to end with Cena uh, Del Rio on this pay-per-view card if there is a cash-in. If there's a cash-in, awesome. If not, let this one go on last. Now, I had an interesting prediction here uh, for John Cena versus Alberto Del Rio, and I said, what if these guys don't have a decisive winner? And a lot of people were saying to me, Tubby, well, you can. It's no DQ. Anybody can interfere. Uh, you could have a double KO where both guys are completely knocked out. Um, instead of a DQ, kind of like what it was last month where they're just completely, you know, taken out of the picture. Uh, some people are citing, you know, possibly having Big Show rip open the cage or, you know, any number of in other interferences from Triple H. And I honestly think that some of those things could happen. But what I proposed on my, you know, other video was... I say let these guys not have a decisive winner. And, you know, a lot of people are going to turn off right there and be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're a big Daniel Bryan fan. You're like one of his biggest fans. I am. And I want Daniel Bryan to be WWE champion. But even more than that, what I would like to see him do is come out on top in this match somehow. And, you know, John Cena tomorrow... Yeah, I want to see him win the title, come out of Raw the next night, and then Triple H turn heel... Well, he's already heel, but maybe have a Cena heel turn. Or not even a heel turn, I guess. He could just align with Triple H and just, like, give Cena the belt. And then Daniel's got to face him for the Undisputed belt. I just think that would be awesome, and they put it on a whole other level at Survivor Series. Uh, but that's enough of the crazy kind of predictions or kind of thought process here. Um, I want Daniel Bryan to win hands down. I want him to be WWE Champion. And like I said, I, I honestly think they did a ratings test last week on Monday Night Raw. They had Daniel Bryan in hour one, Randy hour two, and both of them in hour three. Daniel Bryan had more viewers. They dropped viewers when Randy was wrestling in a match. And I honestly thought, you know, I tweeted out right then and there, Bryan wins Hell in a Cell just because of that. Because honestly, I think they did a ratings test is what I honestly thought they did. And, you know, I thought they did it well. I liked last week's Raw. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be very interesting to say, that if Randy goes out WWE Champion, I don't know what the WWE is necessarily doing. I don't know why they wouldn't pull the trigger on him. I don't know what they are waiting for. You know, I think he could carry the company. And obviously, they may or may not feel that way. You know, depending on if they either give Randy the belt or Daniel the belt here. If they give Daniel Bryan the belt... I think it's great, and I hope he goes on to be the next biggest thing in WWE. If they give the belt to Randy, my only advice could be to WWE is what the fuck are you doing? And I honestly, I don't think they know what they're doing if they give Randy the title. Because I don't want to see Randy versus Daniel again, personally. On pay-per-view, I don't want to see them go at, uh, go at it at Survivor Series. So you have two possible options here. I think you have Daniel win. Or you have both of them get knocked out. That's my thought. So I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, either way, I think Daniel Bryan leaves as champion. The only other thing I could think of is Daniel gets knocked out and uh, he just finishes on top of Randy somehow. He gets the victory and it sets up an undisputed championship. Just for the old, you know, undisputed fans when Chris Jericho had it, you know, for those people who want it. I think it'd be awesome to see it return, and uh, I think that's what actually my other thought was, is WWE Vacant was testing to see if one title, the World Heavyweight Championship, could carry the shows, and if it made a difference, and I think it didn't, because ratings dropped without the WWE title, even with the World Heavyweight Championship on Monday Night Raw, it didn't make any sense, 
And I think that goes to show we might get one title. Please. I want to know your guys' thoughts, your opinions. Randy, I don't know how that match ended. That was kind of bull, but let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to go over to itsjustwrestling.com. My podcast, the It's Just Wrestling podcast, is on iTunes. Make sure to go uh, follow it, subscribe to it, and leave a review. It would really help me out. So until next time, we will see you all later.